We are going to uh, a Trio Cache 132, I think. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done a Trio Cache. This one was set by Casey Snyder uh, just recently, I think. I don't remember if I've watched the video where he said it or not, so I don't know what this tree is going to look like, but I'm hoping hoping I find it. But uh, yeah, we got Katie uh, with the camera right now, and I also got a GoPro. And uh, let's do this. It is beautiful weather today in St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm Katie with the camera. All right, so we made it into the woods. Uh, there's not really any marked trails. I have a feeling pretty much all of these are vaguely bushwhack trails. But thankfully there isn't much undergrowth. And it's spring, so there's no leaves out yet. So we're having a fairly decent time of it already. I feel like we're making good progress to the point. I don't have a fancy GPS. What I have is an iPhone that's semi-accurate with Google Maps, so we're just Hoping for the best, and that thing looks huge over there, so I'm thinking we might be getting close to it. That's a fairly large specimen I see in the distance. So, you know, you're just kind of looking around, like, if Casey's gonna pick a tree, which P, which P, P, which P, which tree is he gonna pick? Look at that big boy up there. If you look way up in the canopy there, I see a plaque way up there. There we go, that's what we're aiming for. I can, like, just kind of see the words on the plaque from side but I think I'm gonna throw from this side because I have a trail at my back so I don't want to throw from the other side of the tree and risk hitting a pedestrian so we're gonna throw throw from this side to make sure we don't hit anybody and this tree <laughs> this tree is just huge like it's not that tall but she's wide she is wide Oh, I, I understand what you mean. But I have to aim for a pretty narrow window because this thing is so loosey-goosey that if it doesn't hit it exactly, it's not gonna go through. You get it? Woohoo!
Okay, he's working the rad system here. <laughs> it is hard in a tree motion. This it's is a move. Well, yeah, and because your bridge is so long. Okay, don't do that, because the more you do that, the more the longer that bridge is going to get, and the harder it's going to be for you to go up. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if I keep advancing it for you. Look at you go. What do you mean pushing your limits? This tri stem part. Look at you come. You're almost up there. Almost up there, Katie. Uh, I'm so close. Look at you. There you go. Beauty. You made it. We're up at the level of the. Uh, Looks like brass or like chrome from a distance. Kind of changes color. I guess that's your clue that it's galvanized. Like cottonwoods are like super brittle, but uh, the nice thing is that you see we're a ways up here, but if I take weight off my line, it doesn't go flying back towards the ground because it's uh, the cottonwood will just form around it and just bite it. It's got soft, such soft bark. Leaving a mark. Here we go. The big touch. I touched the plaque. What does it say? Pretty cool. Sick, bro. Look at this, Katie. Look at this big. We made climbed. it to the trio cache. Ryan's head might be blocking it. There it is. Jingling. Woohoo! We did it. And here we are, compared to the ground. I have the world's best climbing shirt on right now. You like three to one all the way up this thing. We made it to the trio cache and we decided what better way to celebrate than with a nice cold beer. Cheers. All right, it looks like the coast is clear. I don't think you're gonna hit anyone. We're, we'll pick her up after she hits. Oh my God, it's shiny blue. Yeah. <laughs> Did not. I thought I was gonna have way more of a height advantage. Had like none. I'm, I'm better when nobody's watching. <laughs> oh, this thing is cool. I just really don't want to fall back into this branch. If only you had a Han Solo. A Han Solo. I thought I was going to be. <laughs> My goal was to like make it over there, but I was hoping to like land on this, run out there. But if I like fall off or slide to the side, I'm going to run into that. Ugh, life, man. Thanks so much for coming, cutie. Do you want me? I'm fine going on this side of the spring, right? It does not matter which way you go, because I can just disconnect it and let it fall. Good descent, cutie. Oh, you got a cool silhouette coming off the tree with that afternoon sun. Here comes the rope, heads up.
So I forgot to film any kind of outro while we were out there at the trio cache, but I had a lot of fun doing that and it was fun to get to bring uh, Katie with. Uh, we don't get to climb together very often. Well, I don't, I'm not usually able to get Katie to climb, but that was a nice warm day for it and that was a lot of fun. That was the first trio cache I've ever done and I will definitely try to do more in the future because that, 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 was, that was a pretty sweet, fun activity. So thank you so much, Casey Snyder, for establishing that trio cache and I'll definitely include the link to his videos of setting that up in the description. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this slightly more adventurous video since we've had a lot of technical videos recently. But uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.